Good evening, everyone. Today's challenge is to identify what's going on in a series of Kingdom Hearts clips using only your ears. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to play for you a 10 second clip from a Kingdom Hearts game, but only the audio. You will then have to name the game the clip is from, the player character, and the world they're in. For an extra challenge, also try to name any one of the enemies on screen. Each category is worth one point, so you can score up to four points in each round. For example, you might hear this clip. In this example, to score a full four points, you'd need to tell me that the clip is from Kingdom Hearts, the player character is Sora, the world is Deep Jungle, and then give me either the Power Wild or Bouncy Wild. After I reveal the answers, I'll explain some hints I left in the clip that were meant to help you guess the solution, and then I will play the clip a second time with the visual. Alright, let's get started. Number one. This first battle was taking place on Destiny Islands in the Reverse Rebirth scenario of Kingdom Hearts' Rechain of Memories. The card sound effects and Riku's effort noises should have been the biggest giveaways for the game and character. The song Night of Fate is playing in the background, which is also associated with Traverse Town, but Recom only has it on Destiny Islands. The trumpet sound at the end should have clued you in to the presence of a loudmouth, or a crescendo as it was known back in 2007, but you could have also hell married a shadow, dark ball, or creeper plant if you were familiar with each world's heartless spawns. Again, we have Night of Fate playing, but this time the effort noises are clearly Sora's. Throughout the entire clip, you can hear the sound of the storm in the background, and when you combine it with a snippet of Riku's and Ursula's grunts at the very end, you should land on the Dream Drop Distance tutorial fight on Destiny Islands. This clip comes from Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, though I would have just accepted Cage 3 as the right answer. If Dark Domination didn't tip you off, then the string of grunts should have pointed towards Xehanort as the opponent. Technically, this is replica armored Xehanort, but just Xehanort is enough for the point. The player character is Kairi, as indicated by her various effort noises and the hit sound of Destiny's Embrace. As for the world, consider it a free point, a gift from me to you. We really don't know where this takes place, and magic platform floating above a sea of clouds inside a keyhole is a bit too much for me to ask of you. Four. Right away, the battle theme Arabian Dream should have given Agrabah away as the world. The compressed audio narrows down the pick to one of the DS games, and the adult male effort noises point to one of the organization members in the mission mode of days. If you couldn't decipher Zigbar's grunts, the pattern of bullets could help distinguish him from someone like Xemnas or Zaldan. The enemies are the trickiest part, and there were two possible routes. A fireball sound near the end, pointing towards the fire plant, and the sound of attacks being deflected, hinting towards the off-screen barrier master. Five. 
This is Disney Town from Birth by Sleep, which should have been clear if you recognize the battle theme Up Down Adventure. If not, you still had Ventus' effort noises to help narrow down the game. While there are plenty of sound effects coming from enemy attacks, I personally find that the Unversed aren't memorable in the same way that Heartless are, so just throwing out a guess based on what lives in Disney Town is probably your best bet. I left in four different types of Unversed to help even the odds, but this is definitely the hardest point to earn so far. Six. This was meant to be one of the easier ones. The compressed audio and the sound effects of cards being played should have pointed towards the original Chain of Memories, and the effort noises are clearly Sora's. Hand in Hand is playing in the background, which was the clue for Traverse Town. Near the beginning, you can hear the sound of fire and ice magic. Since Sora didn't shout FIRE! FREEZE! And since a very limited number of Heartless appear in Traverse Town, this should have led you to either the Red Nocturne or Blue Rhapsody. Seven. Hearing the song Wave of Darkness 1 should immediately narrow down the choices to three games. If you were able to recognize the shouts of FIRE and LET'S GO as coming from Roxas, then the only possible answer is Melody of Memory. I tried to make this one less obvious by getting hit by the enemies to minimize the rhythmic sound effects. For the world, I'll accept any variation of the Realm of Darkness or Destiny Islands. As per usual, the enemy category is the hardest one to guess. In this case, since there aren't any enemy noises besides the Heartless Spawn sound effect, you would either have to rely on memory of the melody, or make an educated guess of some pure blood heartless. As with many of these rounds, the world is immediately given away by the battle theme. Since we're in Beast's castle, there are only a few options, and the sound quality points towards Daze as the culprit. Even among Daze's large cast, Donald Duck's voice is pretty unmistakable. The only enemy in this clip was the bad dog, which gave a quick bark right at the end. The battle theme reveals the world to be Wonderland, and the effort noises are definitely Sora's voice. But this is Data Sora, not the real Sora, and yes, the distinction matters for the point. You might have thought that it was another mission mode clip, but the amount of enemy hits in quick succession points towards the more technologically adept Recoded. As for the enemies who those hits belong to, the various elemental sound effects should again hint towards the Red Nocturne and the Blue Rhapsody, and you can also hear the soldier's armor clink at various points. Ten. The song Go For It should be a hint towards Olympus Coliseum, but that doesn't exactly narrow it down much. The damage noises are clearly Aqua's, so that should clarify the player character in the game. 
They'll all know that Birth by Sleep uses the Kingdom Hearts rechain of memories recordings of the Olympus Coliseum music themes for some strange reason. Like with our last BBS question, I'm not expecting many people to guess the enemy unless you happen to remember which unversed species spawn in Olympus Coliseum. This one was a bit of a trick. The game, world, and enemy were all given away by the music and voice lines. This is the Saix fight in the Keyblade Graveyard in Kingdom Hearts 3, or technically the Remind rematch. But this fight gives you the option to play as either Roxas or Sora, and you can hear both of their voice clips in the selection. Ultimately, the attack sound effects reveal that Sora is the one being controlled. Riku's grunts are pretty clear in this clip, as is the battle theme Monstrous Monstro. This leaves two options, Monstro in Reaver's Rebirth, and Prankster's Paradise in Dream Drop Distance. The balloon spell and item pickup sounds point towards the latter as the correct response. There's only one enemy here, the Icewind Ace, which has the distinctive sliding ice move. The battle theme and battle quotes reveal that Aqua is fighting in the Realm of Darkness, but the distinction between the secret episode in Birth by Sleep and Somewhere in 0.2 is found in the other sound effects. Given that two of the six non-boss Heartless in 0.2 are present in this clip, you had a pretty good chance at the answer even without paying attention to the enemy attack sounds. This one was the Sean Yu fight from Kingdom Hearts 2, and the player character was King Mickey. Clues for the exact battle include Sean Yu and Hayabusa's attack sounds, and the constant noise of the Nightwalkers attacking the gate. Another one. Between the low health sound effect and Rage Awakened, it's clear that this fight takes place in the Keyblade Graveyard. If you paid attention to the grunts, you should have realized that this was the Terra Xehanort battle from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, meaning that the correct answer for the player is the Lingering Will. The classical music indicates that we're in Symphony of Sorcery in Dream Drop Distance, but since this world silences all effort noises, the distinction between Sora and Riku is harder to pick up on. True Dream Drop Distance aficionados might have picked up on the sound effects of the Tornado and Faith commands, both of which are exclusive to Sora, but the easier way to tell is by the Pastoral Symphony, which is replaced by the Nutcracker Suite in Riku's campaign. 
As for the enemies, my personal strategy is picking a Dream Eater out of a hat, since getting this one right really depends on knowing Dream Eater spawns, which I do not. Next question. This is another tricky one. There are no grunts or battle quotes, and the music doesn't narrow down the exact game. The only real hints were the sound of the Dusk's attacks and Roxas' reversal slides, hinting towards the Cage 2 prologue. The effort noises should have revealed that you were playing as Sora in KH1, but to pinpoint the exact battle, you would have to pick up on the Stealth Sneak's roar or one of Clayton's grunts. As you might have guessed from my profile picture, I'm among the handful of faithful Kingdom Hearts Dark Road fans. The card selection sound effects were the biggest giveaway for the game, and by extension the character, and by now you should be familiar with Agrabah's music. The enemies don't really make sounds in this clip, but I threw in the most generic Agrabah Heartless to give you a shot at guessing. As the final main round, this is one of the hardest. We have Rowdy Rumble playing in Nintendo DS quality, which narrows our games down to two. The grunts belong to Lexius, so there's our player character and game. The world is harder without an ordinary battle theme, but if you've put together the object destruction sound effects and the sword slashes, you might have a shot at the correct answer. This is in the world that never was, and Lexius is breaking the jars in Mission 33 while being chased by assassins. The source of this bonus clip was the original Kingdom Hearts Coded, only released on Japanese cell phones. The effort noises are actually standard fare for Sora in the Japanese dub, but of course this would actually be Data Sora. The uniquely compressed audio and the fact that Sora's grunts were in Japanese should have been the biggest hints, but I don't blame you if you had no clue about this one. That's why it was a bonus question. The world should have been the easiest part to guess thanks to the music. As for the enemies, the large body does make some sort of noise at the beginning, but it's mostly a gamble. As an aside, while I do actually own a 2008 Japanese flip phone with the original coded demo, this clip was recorded with an emulator for better sound quality at the expense of the frame rate. Almost there! This one wasn't Kingdom Hearts at all, it was Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's some background sound effects that hint towards this, plus the fact that multiple Sora voice clips are playing at once. 
The world is Hollow Bastion, which is hand-in-hand -hand playing to throw you off, and the opponent is another Sora. Last one. This clip comes from the worst Kingdom Hearts game, Kingdom Hearts Magical Puzzle Clash. For those of you that saw my video about it, the swapping sound effects and the poorly looped tension rising should have been pretty big hints. For those of you that haven't seen the video, go do that. The character, world, and enemy are impossible to know from sound alone, but the character is a 1 in 3 chance, and the other categories are both 1 in 5 given that the music indicates a boss battle. And if you remember from my video, no boss battle stands out as much as the Morning Star. The world is Olympus Coliseum, but bonus points if you remember that the game mistakenly titled it Olympus. Time for a hidden bonus question. Each round of this quiz started with a voice clip counting a number. The challenge is to identify the speaker for each of these clips. I won't reveal the answers in the video, so place your guesses below. And with that, I'm off.